What's up guys, Dreaded Skater here. So today I'm gonna be doing uh, five basic tricks that any skater can learn. Basically just going over five tricks that are pretty cool looking, but are also pretty basic to do. I feel like any pretty new skater with a little bit of experience could learn these tricks. I've done something like this before, but the last time I did it, it was all flat ground tricks. And today I decided to add some other stuff like ramp and something on a curb. And so yeah, hopefully this video will help you guys out, maybe help you learn something new. And yeah, let's not waste any more time, let's hop straight into these five tricks. Man, y'all, don't get me wrong, I like summer. Like, I like the warm weather and all that, but it's so hot. Wherever y'all are, stay safe, especially if you're near that, like, heat wave. Just stay safe, bro. Make sure y'all drink water. Soda just makes it worse. Don't drink soda. Make sure y'all drinking water or Gatorade or something. Stay safe in this heat, y'all, because it's hot. All right, so for most of these tricks today, these are tricks that you'll be able to build up in the future. So you learn them, write the basic version first, and then later on in the future, you'll be able to build off of them, make them something better, except for one of them, which is the first trick. So I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. I have no clue what the name of this trick is. It has so many names, and I've never gotten a clear answer. Where I'm from, people called it Cinderella. So I guess that's what we're going to go with today. It's a Cinderella. So this trick is very simple. It's basically like when you tell someone you can skate, they're like, oh, I can do tricks too. And they do this. So really all you have to do with this trick is have your feet under the board like this and then jump. And then as you jump, jump forward with the board. It's really, really basic. Anyone can learn this. And I mean anyone. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Just have your feet under the board, jump forward and land back on the board. As long as you have the slightest bit of balance on a skateboard, you can do it. All right, so the second trick on this list is a no stall. Not on transition, let me show y'all what I mean. Again, this trick, very basic. All you need is a curb. All you need to do is roll up to the curb and when you get to it, lift up. And then once your nose is placed on the curb, you're gonna wanna lean onto the nose so that way your tail will lift up. And then when you're there, you just kind of pause and stall. There's two ways to get out of it, actually. If you're more advanced, you can try popping out a little bit, which I think is easier. So like, you won't like get stuck like this or something. Or you can kind of slam your nose down and it'll kind of just slip off the curb. Either way works and it'll get the job done. But I do think it's more stylish if you pop out of it a little bit. Common mistakes for this trick is lifting up too high and having your board go into like a board stall. Just don't lift up the board too high to fix that. If you lift it up just the littlest amount, then it'll get on there and you'll be able to stall it. And the cool thing about the no stall is it's such a gateway trick. You can learn so many new tricks off of it. From the no stall, you can learn slappy no slides. Just get a little bit of speed and go at it sideways. You're doing a slappy no slide. Then from there, you can pop into your slappies and learn actual no slides. So it's just such a good trick to have. And then it'll gateway into other tricks, more advanced tricks. So yeah, no stall, definitely a good trick to have. Also, if you're more comfortable, you can ollie into the no stall, which will lead you right into no slides. This next trick is a little bit more advanced, but still very basic. And I feel like anyone could learn it. The next trick is nollie shove. In my last one of these videos, I had fakie shove in it. And I actually think that nollie shove is easier than fakie shove for one reason. You don't have to land fakie or switch when you do this trick. Really all you have to do for this trick is lean a little bit forward and then have your foot somewhere about right here. If you're more like stable on your board, you can have it lower down. But if you're not that comfortable, I would have it lower up. It'll still spin. What you wanna do is just kind of push down and kick forward with your front foot. And then from there, the board should spin, do a 180, and then you just land back on it. Pretty basic trick, and I feel like it is easier than fakie, like I said, because you don't have to roll away switch. 
And also this trick is really good for building from Nolly Shelf. You can learn Nolly Big Spin and it's most likely gonna be one of your first Nolly tricks. So I highly recommend learning this trick when you're first getting into skating so you can be comfortable doing Nolly tricks. Trick number four is a trick that you're gonna need a skate park to learn at, but it's Rock to Fakie. Alright, so for this trick, it's really, really basic. Pretty much like all these tricks. All you need to do is come at the quarter pipe with a good amount of speed. If you're doing this for the first time, don't go too fast, but you also want to make sure you go high enough so you don't expect to get caught on the coping. Then don't and just like shoot out. Come at the quarter at a good speed, right? Make sure that your front wheels get over the coping. What I mostly do most of the time is lean forward to get that nice rock, make sure my back wheels get off the actual ramp and my front wheels are on the deck and then go back in. But for this example, I decided to just have it go up there and come back in quick. But yeah, you just wanna come up, make sure your front wheels get over and then lift back up and go in. Don't lift up too much. Most of the time, it'll just go in by itself like. But that is really not the best thing to do because a lot of the times you'll get caught on the coping and you'll just fly to flat, which I've done before. It's awful. So to avoid flying to flat, you want to lift up just a little bit. And as soon as you feel yourself mostly in the ramp, slam your wheels down, make sure you're sturdy and you should fly right out. And something I would say just to get more comfortable skating ramps is just go up and down a few times. Don't try to get your front wheels over the coping. That's just to get comfortable. Once you're good on that, then it really shouldn't be that hard to get your wheels over the coping. It's more of just a commitment thing. Once you get past that initial fear, just like everything, it'll be no problem. So this next thing is an honorable mention and it really isn't a trick. But the next um, maneuver, I guess, is gonna be a drop-in. I really don't consider drop-in a trick. I think it's more of a way to like get speed, set up for obstacles. It's really not a trick, but it can lead to tricks. Drop-in can lead to tricks like tail stall, which is actually gonna be very important once you try to get flow on like a mini ramp or something like that. But yeah, let me just show you how to drop in. This is very basic. So this is the reason I don't really consider it a trick because all you have to do is lean forward and stomp your front foot. That's literally the only explanation I can give to you. It is very, very scary when you do it for the first time. So it really is like a big mental block, but once you get over that fear, it's so easy. Literally just lean forward. But yeah, it's really not that hard to learn. Just stomp forward, lean forward. Don't lean back though. That's the only thing I can tell you is don't lean back. Now this final trick is more advanced and I don't think anybody will be able to learn this like very, very quick into skating. You're gonna need a little bit more skill than the rest of these tricks. But the final trick is a slappy. And this trick you can do front side or back side. I'm just teaching it front side because that's how I like to do them more than back side. And for this trick, all you have to do is come at the obstacle, the curb, whatever you're skating at an angle. When you come at that angle, you're gonna wanna lean back and like almost try to lift up your front truck so that way it'll go on there. Once your front truck is on, the back truck should kind of slap on also. And then you'll be locked into a 50-50. The only thing I would try to avoid is lifting up too much or you'll just like run into the curb, you won't do anything. And also when you try learning this, make sure you try it on something a little smaller than usual. Don't try to do it on like a full curb when you first start learning it because you'll probably struggle a little bit. And then when you're ready to come off, just kind of turn out, you should just turn right out and you should be able to land it. And it's a really fun trick to be honest. You can also do a lot of combos with this trick you can do like slappy shove, you can go to tail slide, you can do a backside, front side, smith grind, so many options for this trick, bro. So yeah, really solid trick. I hope this video was able to teach y'all something. If y'all need any more help or further explanation, leave a comment and I'll be able to help you out. Or it really helped me out to help you guys out if you sent me a video on Instagram of you trying the trick and I'll be able to give you a little bit more feedback. Also, I'm Fine Skate Co., the board I've been skating throughout this video, just had a board drop. You can check it out on their Instagram at I'm Fine Skate Co. And if you need a board, go check them out. Go support. If you guys like supporting small businesses, then go check them out.
But yeah, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I try my best to post new videos every Monday, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Peace out. I've been watching, stalking, waiting for the moment where you lost it, dropped it. We've been going up, we ain't gonna stop shit, stop shit. Dripping all this water out the faucet, I've been on my rock shit.